Hi, welcome back to Vetcademy. Today, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into concept cars. We touched on it briefly back in episode four when we talked about Corvette and design. So, what exactly is a concept car? A concept car is a car that has been designed specifically to focus on styling or technology. So how does that relate to Corvette? Well, Corvette, over time, has had several concept cars. Today, we're going to be showcasing just a few of them. The Chevrolet Corvette has been in existence for close to 70 years. Over the course of its generations, there have been many concept versions produced. We know that concept cars are made to help the Corvette test and advance in both its engineering and design capacities. The first Corvette concept ever built was named EX122. It was an experimental car used by Chevrolet Engineering. It had been in development under the name Project Opal since 1951 and was built in the experimental department of Chevrolet Engineering in Detroit in the latter part of 1952. This Corvette was first exhibited or shown at GM's Motorama event at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in January of 1953, as well as a few other shows in larger cities around the country, such as San Francisco and Dallas. It was displayed as a dream car and was a big hit with the crowds, so much so that the production of Corvettes began just five months later. They began to roll off the assembly line on June 30th, 1953 in Flint, Michigan. That first year, the car was available only in polo white with red interior and offered at the base price of roughly $3,500. A total of 300 1953 models were built. After it made its way around the country in the auto show circuit in 1953, this special Corvette was parked in the lobby of the General Motors building in Detroit for public display. Later, it went back to the engineering department and was used as a test car for performance. Next up, we have the 1961 Mako Shark. Under the lead of Bill Mitchell, General Motors Vice President of Styling at the time, the 1961 XP755 Shark later renamed the Mako Shark One, was designed by Mr. Larry Shinoda as a concept car for future Chevrolet Corvettes. Unlike Mr. Harley Earl in the 1950s, who liked his cars rounded and curved, Mr. Mitchell liked very sharp, defined edges. The story goes that while deep sea fishing off the coast of Florida, Bill Mitchell caught a short fin Mako Shark and it inspired him in design. Its silver blue scales, pointed nose, and smooth, sleek lines inspired him. Bill even had the shark mounted in his office. He wanted the lines of the concept car they were building to resemble a shark's body and wanted it to have the same appearance of speed and that quick movement, just as a shark has moving through water. The Mako Shark was a big influence for the body design of Corvette's second generation of cars. As a concept car, however, its design was very dramatic and differed from the actual production Corvette with six taillights instead of four, a longer and more pointed nose that resembled the nose of a shark, and the addition of a clear glass roof. The Mako was finished in paint technique that blended a blue upper surface that gradually transitioned into a white side and lower body. It was supposed to resemble, or look like, the natural coloring of the shark caught by Bill Mitchell. This last concept car example is special because it is one of the few mid-engine concept cars created by Corvette. The 1973 Corvette XP987 is a mid-engine Corvette concept from 1973, and it has several special features. It's the first time that four square headlights made an appearance on a Corvette. The windshield is considered a V windshield, fused or joined together in its midsection at the seam. And the radio antenna was incorporated right into the windshield. Under the back hatch is the engine. 
a rotary engine rather than a conventional or typical piston and cylinder engine because General Motors thought at the time that future engines may evolve toward rotary engines. However, over time and with more testing, they discovered rotary engines to not be as efficient in Corvettes. The next time you visit the National Corvette Museum with your family, stop by the Kids Zone where you can design, build, and test your own concept car. Come back tomorrow for a fun experiment and activity.